What is it? Oh my god, we're fire we're mono fire versus bread dog. How do I beat this, dude? Um just a heads up, viewers. I poke a lot of fun at my editor here, but we're buddies. It's it's not it's not serious. Do not get upset with me. He and I are cool. Let's get into the video. I'm gonna slowly lose my mind throughout it. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC 2023 video. I just said 2023 out loud and realized I'm getting old, man. I'm like 23 years old. I was born in 1999, but I'm still 23. I'm a summer baby. But yeah, um, some of you guys would be surprised by that for some reason. Anyways, today we're going to be using a team that actually our YouTube Shorts editor, The Dodd, uh, made. So I'm going to go ahead and link his Twitter and his Twitch in the description down below. But he posted this on Twitter saying that he was going to stream with it. And it was a mono fire team in Series 3, so I or Regulation C. So I wanted to try it out. I just thought it would be fun. And also, I want to shout out the editor. So, yeah. Uh, if you guys enjoy this standpoint in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video. Subscribe to the channel and turn notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. Answer my comment question of the day, which is, what do you think is the best type in this current format? Anyways, let's get into it. So... I don't know anything about the EV spreads or anything about this team. I'm just, this is going to be a vibes based video. Um, and also, I don't know what my ranking is this season. What am I? 2164. It's going to go down because of decay. Uh, but yeah, let's see what we can do here. It should be fun. Okay. So spicy. So let me actually try to get an idea as to like what the gist of this team is. We don't have spicy extract, which I think is a. Lost opportunity, but it looks like we have plenty of Terra Grass on the team. Half the team has Terra Grass. So, I don't know. Let's see what I can do here. So, uh, I have, like, the preview pulled up right next to me. So I can remember what's on the team. But it looks like... Whoops, I just closed it. We're facing off against Bread Dog stuff. And what is... Oh my god, we're fire... We're Mono Fire versus Bread Dog. How do I beat this, dude? Um... Lean heavily into Torkoal, and do we have Sleep Powder anywhere? We don't have Sleep Powder anywhere. You're fired. Editor's fired. Why do we have to pull this immediately? Okay, uh, let's go ahead and lead off with our Talonflame. Should be relatively useful here, as well as our... Um, how can we, like, one-shot the opposing Chiyu with this? I don't know if we can. We might need to lead off with Iron Moth and just start spamming Acid Spray. Bring our Chi Yu in the back. And let's go ahead and bring for whatever's in the back. Um I probably get the most value out of not Scovelin. Armorouge, weakness policy. Yeah. We do we also do have like the U-turn stuff on the Talon Flame for the Armorouge. And we're weak armor. I guess I could try that. I didn't recognize that was an option at first. We might be dropping a lot of points today. I'm just going to keep it real with you guys. Also, my light's a little too bright. There we go. Wouldn't it be really cool if our first opponent just didn't even connect? If we just had a connection issue and we get points off of the bread dog player? You know what? I might I might go as far as to say fire is like the worst typing in the current format, just because of how hard it loses to Bax and Palafin. Alright, despite the obvious mono fire thing we got going on here, it looks like they didn't recognize that. Get a boost energy boost to our speed. And I'm a little bit scared of the Azu. I'm actually going to go ahead and just Will-O-Wisp it. And we're going to go for a Fiery Dance onto you. Let's see if we get Aqua Jet. Probably Liquidation then. Alright, I don't mind losing our Iron Moth here if it means I can go into Armor Rouge and do the funny. They're Lumberry. Are you kidding me? Watch them belly drum too. Liquidation. All right, that's fine. I'm going to go for the funny. That's the only way I see us getting out of here. I have to go for the funny. 
We're not even heat wave. That's so bad for us. Okay. And I can't solar beam or anything. How do we get out of this? I guess I don't have sun either. I really underestimated how much I needed all this stuff, dude. All right. U turn. Terra grass. And I'm going to have to get rid of this Chen Pao first, I think. So we're just going to armor cannon it and hope that it's not Sash. Uh, maybe we just Psychic the Azu. Yeah, you know what? I, now that I'm like playing this, I'm recognizing that we probably should have just brought the Torkoal. Like, Torkoal as the last Mon would have made more sense. Who knows? Maybe we one-shot. I want to get at least one win with this. This seems genuinely difficult. All right. Nice little weakness policy activation. I think this would be way better if we had Heat Wave, to be honest. Be a lot more spammable. All right, it's getting the Chi Yu. Hopefully we can one shot here. This is a pretty strong attack. This is pretty strong. It's plus two with Chi Yu on the field. All right, nice. We get that KO. <laughs> Dude, honestly, I we just like hard lose to the um we just hard lose to that that uh that dude in the back to be honest. I have to like call out sucker punches and stuff. There's the Chen Pao. It did protect turn one last game. Or last time it was in, I mean. Go ahead and Snarl here. Avoid giving this thing a defense boost and I'll protect. We are Focus Sash, so we're guaranteed to live one hit. I like royally messed up by not bringing the Torkoal. They do protect, all right. Get a Snarl off though. What are the odds we take a Sucker Punch? Okay, sick. I literally cannot, like, attack this Dock Spun. I do have Brave Bird in the back, that might be useful. Let's Snarl and go for the Armor Cannon. Unfortunately, we have to Armor Cannon. Can I take a Sucker Punch, please? All right, they're gonna give us something. They're basically handing something over here. It's the Chi Yu. Okay, yeah, I don't know if Chi Yu eats this. This is gonna be a pretty strong attack. Okay, I did eat it. We do get a defense drop, and I am getting yawned this turn. Depending on what this Chi Yu's build is, I might be able to overwhelm it. Getting yawned on, okay. Do I swap? Bread Dog probably has. Let me think. So if you have yawn, you probably have protect. I kind of have to snarl here. Actually, I can heat wave pretty comfortably. And the reason I say that is because if, if this thing protects, it's like whatever. All right. I'm going to go for it. No protect or swap. They protect. All right. Glad I heat wave now. They, get, they go for the snarl. Okay. So it looks like they're scarf or they want a speed tie. My sash gets broken, which is pretty bad. I don't know how we get out of this one. I like how I go, I'm going to pull up with Mono Fire to the ladder and immediately pull Bread Dog. I don't even KO with that now. Okay. How do I get out of this one?
The good news is if they are Scarf, should be able to Snarl again and just hope for the best. Yeah, it looks like they're Scarf. They wouldn't really Snarl there again, I think. Actually, maybe they would. Maybe they don't have Dark Pulse. My hope is that they just go for another Yawn. Because that gives me an opportunity to possibly win. Nope, they body press. Okay, let's think how we get out of this. Hmm. Let's get in Talonflame. I still have full health on Talonflame, so I do have priority on my moves. I think here I have to protect and Tailwind. Because I think they want to protect and yawn. Possibly. Or maybe just attack the Chiyu. I don't know if they go for Flame. Hopefully it's a bulky Talonflame. I don't know. All right, I got the Protect. I got the Protect. That's huge. As long as I called the Yawn correctly, we're, like, set. Yawn the Chiyu. Got the Yawn call. All right, sick. Sick, sick, sick. So I am going to give this thing a defense boost, but I should be able to eventually break it. I think. I hope. I kind of have to give this thing a defense boost, don't I? Yeah, I'm going to give it a defense boost. This is going to be really rough. Okay. Great Bird has priority, so I can dodge Sucker Punch with this. I'm honestly hoping they, like, Terra Steel or something, because that allows me to possibly Nasty Plot on them. Oh, it's Shempa. He's going to be Terra Ghost, isn't he? Terra Dark. Okay. Hopefully they sucker punched here. Good damage. Hold on. Crit. Can I get another one? This is minus two, but it's still pretty strong. Still pretty strong. Okay, Chimpow's gone. They wasted a Terra. If they're not the body press variant, I might be able to beat them. All right. So here, I'm fairly certain that they just want to go for the, um, by the way, they're totally body press. You never not run body press. Let me nasty plot up and go for Brave Bird. Gonna get to plus two. Can't burn this thing because a well-baked body. I might be able to win by timer. How long have I been going? 13 minutes? Oh my God, do I have to win by timer? I might have to win by timer. In 13 minutes, I spent at least two minutes starting up the video. And I believe the matches are 15. They might be 20. This might be a timer game. I don't know if I'm willing to put you guys through that, though. Nasty plot again. Braid bird for damage. I'm not going to put you guys through it. If they're not, if they're not body pressed, we have a shot. They're totally going to body press our Chiyu, though. You never run anything other than that. Yeah, there it is. Alright, unfortunately that's game. But to be fair, we got really far into that matchup despite the fact that this Dock Spun just hard counters the entire team. We got pretty far in that matchup despite that glaring flaw in the strategy. Alright. Can I make use of Scovillain? I'm kind of hoping I see a Palafin, because that's like the only way I can really like justify using Scovillain here. 
I'm trying to think how I position this. So I could lead off with like Talonflame and go for like Protect Tailwind and then next turn get in Torkoal. I think, I think that's how I have to play it. I just have to hope there's no like Flash Fire or, you know, other abilities that just make you immune to fire moves entirely. <laughs> All right. Luckily, this isn't the worst matchup, really. Uh, let's do this. Actually, I might be able to... This is another game where I'm like, if we had Heat Wave, this would be free. But we don't have Heat Wave on the, uh, on the Armorish, because I could just do the thing. But now I can't. Um, yeah, it's like a huge oversight in the team. <laughs> Let me think. How do I beat Mouse Ape consistently? I think I have to bring Talonflame on lead. I don't know if I can bring Scovillain. Maybe I just lead off with Chiyu. Torkoal, and then the last Mon. Whatever, we're bringing Scovillain. It is at this point that I have accepted that we're probably not going to end this video with a win. All right. Roaring Moon Mousehold. Are they going to Dragon Dance on me? Um, I should be free to Tailwind up. I think I'm going to Tailwind here. And protect. I don't think they D-Dance. They might have Earthquaked or something. Actually, Earthquake's dumb. They probably just D-Danced. Maybe set up their own Tailwind. Yeah, they set up their own Tailwind. That's actually like a really risky play, though, because I totally could have just like hit them <laughs> with like a, with a, with a, what's it called? Will-O-Wisp. I guess I should try it now. And I'm going to get in Torkoal. Historical can eat a hit. If they wanna if they don't want to follow me for some reason, this burn's gonna be really important. And if they do follow me, it, at least I like break a sash, which is the same outcome. They throw chop, live. Alright, get the burn off. Nice. Alright, that's big. Really weird that they didn't want to go for the Chiyu though. Maybe they just knew. That like Chiyu would have to switch. Ooh, okay. Ten. Okay, that's worth burning in my opinion. This is a Pokemon worth burning. But they might call that out too. I don't know how much it'll matter. Let's go for it. Um, let's also just body press here. Nice. I should be able to get a burn off, which is really big. And then I get in Scovillain, which is actually a really dangerous Pokemon for them because I do have Terra Grass Solar Beam. But I think a single Solar Beam with a Life Orb should one-shot this, um, this Mouse Hold. Did I really only get hit once? That's insane. Okay. That's insane that that just happened. Also, I just realized we're Assault Vest, Torkoal, and not, like, Heat Rock. Alright, um... How many turns of sun do we have then? This is Terra Flying Brave Bird. I don't think it'll one shot mouse hold. But I think I have to like try to get damage off, unfortunately gonna go for the Terrifier Heat Wave. That's like the only out I can really think of. Because the Mouse Hold should outspeed our Chiyu, and they should probably double it. I 
Acrobatics, we're gonna get doubled. They also crit us. Alright. Maybe they're not like the good population bomb set. Oh, they didn't hit the right Pokemon. Sick. Maybe they are wide lens? I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm no longer certain. If we have one more turn of Tailwind though, or of Sun, we should be good. Critical hit on the Roaring Moon's pretty big. Roaring Moon drops next turn. It gets outsped by our Tailwind Peters out. So does theirs though. Um, I'm gonna have to make really good use of Skill Villain. Whatever comes out has to be slower than our Chiyu to have a chance to win. The Scovillain should outspeed this thing? I don't know what Scovillain's base speed is. 75? I, it might? I don't know. Iron Bundle. Okay. I am in a tough spot. It's not Booster Bundle. Because it was Booster Roaring Moon. So what I'm going to do here is Giga Drain the, the, the guy and just go for Heat Wave and just hope that they make a bad decision. <laughs> just, just make a bad decision here. Also, maybe they just, maybe we can just dodge a Hydro Pump. That'd be nice. But I'm also fairly certain it's Sash on the, on the bundle. Alright, they're gonna Terra. They are going offensive here. Oh, that's an interesting choice for the Terra. If I don't outspeed this thing, Scovillain is officially a garbage Pokemon. Let me land this Solar Beam so I can have like a nice thumbnail. We don't outspeed. This is a garbage Pokemon. Oh, we live though. Okay, W. Big W. How are we getting outsped by the whole team? Are we not Chlorophyll? I don't know what to think about this Pokemon. I have to like check some stuff because their Tailwind's gone and the sun is still up and we are Chlorophyll. Are they Scarf Iron Bundle? Is that what I'm facing right now? That doesn't make sense though because then they would... Or is Scovillain just too slow to outspeed Iron Bundle under any situation? Just don't be Sash. No, it's just we have a bad Scovillain. I need to look at this Scovillain. Hold on, I'm about to check... Listen up, Dodd. Listen up. If I go into Pokemon Showdown and find out that this is not a timid max speed Skull villain, I am not going to be happy. <laughs> Hold on. I am checking this. Skull villain. Timid. Max speed at level 50, 139. Let me see this. This is a 98 speed Scovillain. Why is it max HP? <laughs> oh, <laughs> guys, I don't think we're gonna win with this team. Why is it max HP? All right, they gave us a shot here. No, they didn't. They just decided to double protect. All right. Remind me to check the teams before I use them for a video. I also have to upload this now because I literally don't have time to record another video. <laughs> Alright, that's game. There is no way to win here. Unless they like whiff a Hydro Pump and don't Jet Punch, but they're just going to Jet Punch because that's like the thing that you do here. And now they're going to Freeze Dry. Why is it max HP? It doesn't outspeed anything. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do one more. We're gonna do one more. Hold on, I'm looking at this. I, I don't have time to look at the whole team, but let me let me check something real quick. I have to check a few things on the team. I have to get familiar with it. I have no I had no details on the spreads before I started recording.
All right. Our rank is just getting annihilated. If this if this armor rouge is not max HP, I'm gonna I'm gonna explode. Or not max HP. If this armor rouge isn't like max speed or like the speed that it has to be to actually outspeed things, I'm gonna explode. Let me check. All right, it's mouse ape. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Check summary. We're just gonna go for the meme. There's no speed on the armor rouge. There's literally no speed on the armor rouge, dude. Okay. <laughs> How do we outspeed anything, even with Tailwind? Um, Because it needs max speed to outspeed under Tailwind, the Flutterman. Okay, um... Hold on. Tell me. Okay, thank you. Alright, it's bulky. Cool. Um, okay. I- now I'm doubting everything. Okay, that one's fine. We have to go with the pieces that aren't broken. This one's fine. We're just- we're just going with the pieces that we know aren't broken. An Iron Moth is probably- we're just clicking these, okay. Dodd, you and I are gonna- you and I are gonna build together. I'm gonna- I'm gonna show you some important stuff. I just- I- I like- I was going into this expecting like the- the Skull Villain to be max speed. Now I'm like realizing that it's not. <laughs> no shade to Dodd though, obviously, you know. I'm- I'm giving him a hard time because he's my editor and I'm just messing with him, but obviously no actual shit. All right, um... So the burn feels necessary here on the Dragonite. It might be... Let's burn and protect, because it might be um, Lumberry, but if it's banded, we're fine. Because we're max HP, we should live. Unless they want to Terra Normal, then it's going to be iffy. But I think uh, two burns here are pretty much necessary. Cool. Can you, like, not be Lumberry? That'd be Poggers. Lumberry, right here. Yep. Good news is we take less than half from that. Unless they want to go for, like, Rock Slide, we'll be fine. Alright. We go for the Stomping Tantrum. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and burn the Ting Lu. We have a shot to live this if I do that. Because they might protect Dragonite. I'm going to burn the Ting Lu. I have to like make hard callouts to have a chance to win here. And we're basically sacking the, the, we're basically sacking the Torkoal here. Alright, if they protect or swap, it'd be huge. They swap the Ting Lu. Are they gonna just go into Chen Pao? I guess I'm cool with the burn on that. Alright, well, as long as we connect, we're fine. Alright, we live the E speed. They didn't Terra. Get the burn off. Sick. And now we're actually kind of threatening as a Torkoal. I think I have to rely on a pretty unreliable move. And none of my Pokemon in the back want to eat a hit from this thing. Okay, I need to get rid of Chen Pao more than anything. I'm going to try to Tailwind. I doubt it's going to go up. Uh, and we'll just Body Press on you. Because it should KO. Hey, Ice Spinner. All right. 
Stomping Tantrum is going to be close on the KO, but I doubt it picks it up from this range because we're max HP. Nice. Okay. So this should get rid of Chen Pao. And unfortunately, we didn't get a burn off nor any speed control, and that was kind of a rough trade. Um, but Terra Grass on you might be able to bring it back. Yeah. Gonna have to kind of rely on that. Here's the Flutter main. We are AV on the Torkoal. I might be able to live a hit. Proto, is it speed? Special attack, okay. Probably not gonna live a hit. I'm gonna go ahead, Terra Grass, Acid Spray. And I suppose we have to go for Eruption here. It's not like we can switch. So my hope is that they go for, like, Dazzling Gleam plus Stomping Tantrum. That's my hope here. They protect the Flutter Main. Okay, this could be big if they Stomping Tantrum. Because it's decent damage now. Definitely inner focus, judging by the damage. They go for Tailwind. Okay. Well, this would do a decent amount. Um, I probably just lose to everything in the back is the issue. <laughs> That was pathetic. Oh my god. Um, What does more? Acid Spray or Fiery Dance? So Acid Spray is 40. Fiery Dance is 80 in the sun divided by 2, so it's 60. I'm going to Fiery Dance. And I have to stay in and just try to break a Sash with Eruption. Ice Spinner will hurt, though. I'm assuming that's the Flutter, because there's not really a reason to tear the Dragonite. Oh, I guess they are tearing the Dragonite. Tear normal? Maybe they just want to E-Speed? Ice Spinner would have done it. You have Tailwind up. Okay. Dazzling Gleam? Moonblast. All right. I mean, I'm breaking the Sash, but I'm likely going to lose in the end just to the fact that they have um, a Dragonite <laughs> and I have a Chiyu. Unless, of course, this crits. Didn't even need a crit, apparently. Okay. Um, we probably still lose. We probably still lose because Ting Lu exists. I can try to heat wave. <laughs> I can try to heat wave and hope for the best, but it's gonna be rough. I think I heat wave body press. Let me check something really quick. It's not gonna matter, I'm pretty sure. But it's worth checking out. Is this a zero speed torkoal? 40. Torkoal with zero speed is. This is a 31 speed IV Torkoal. I don't think it's possible for Tinglu to be slower than us, but I can hope. Let's hit him with the Heat Wave. And I think Body Press is technically stronger. Watch, I'm gonna live this. Is Tinglu's in the field now, maybe? I didn't live it. Not even close. If I get a burn, there's a chance. Watch, I'm gonna get the nastiest burn of all time. I, I, I didn't I didn't get the burn I lose <laughs> oh my god we lived oh oh yeah wait we're focused sash I'm an idiot I just I've forgotten so much about the team because this has been a little bit painful <laughs> all right uh that's game we just lose all right so we learned a valuable lesson today and that's um look at the EV spreads before you use a team 
I think that's I think that's a pretty valuable lesson. That's a pretty valuable lesson. Granted, I think it's funny that versus like this team, like versus like balance-ish stuff, uh, that was the closest thing we got to a win today. Anyways, that's gonna be it for today's video. Sorry if it wasn't the best in terms of the quality of the battles. I didn't realize. <laughs> but if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications, uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.